Here it is on the mirror, great big heavy mirror. This mirror is about four feet tall. <laughs> heavy. Yeah. Kind of cute. Yeah. Well, today I'm getting started on a really exciting commission. Don't know how it's going to turn out. A client brought in the, the customer, customer brought in this beautiful old mirror. Got beveled edges. She wants me to do, oh, I'm going to show you. I do resin things on mirrors. Ooh, too many light reflections, but she wants me to do something on her mirror. but she wants it a little more subtle. So what I want to try and do is I've got some real branches. I'm going to coat them in resin and I, I just kind of, I'm adding a few branches to it because I didn't like, you know, the configuration. And then I'm going to make out of resin some, um, what do you call it? Al almond, almond blossoms. I did a few kind of prototypes the other day, but I didn't shape them in time and they hardened on me. So I might be able to use a few of those. I'm gonna put a few little burgundy drops in the middle. So today I'm going to start again to make some more of these almond blossoms. And so I'm just prepping. I've got some tiles, um, smooth tiles, and I'm coating, putting some plastic over them. These are old album covers, you know, you used to get when you bought albums. Um, but they're perfect. They don't stick to the resin. So, so I'm getting a nice flat, even surface and I will make, I'll pour some resin to make some new blossoms. And I forgot to show you what I'm doing. <laughs> so I mixed up some resin about mm, maybe three quarters of a cup whoops can you see what I'm doing and I put a uh, white uh, a little bit of white paint and some white pearl whoops I'm trying to hold the camera and also show you what I'm doing some white pearl and a little bit of white paint in one and then the other one I put a little bit of pink alcohol ink and I poured the circles of the white resin and then a little dot of the pink in the middle and now I'm just kind of making little starry things five almond blossoms have five five um, petals so I'm just kind of making Five little zip to do do's there. Don't have to be perfect because the resin's going to keep moving. And then I'll wait for about five hours. There we go. And then I will turn the flip these over. Flip these over on uh, some little cups to kind of shape them a little. And then I should be able to join them on to the branch, make my little almond blossom tree, my almond tree. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. And we'll see what comes next. Okay, so what I did is I traced the outline of that nice beautiful mirror with, with on parchment paper because I'm afraid to do anything on that mirror. I don't want to wreck it. And so I laid down the parchment paper and then I put a piece of the cellophane over top that I can pour resin on. And there's my branches. I'm going to coat those with just clear resin and let them cure. And then I put like a, you know, with um, those uh, silicone guns, I just put a bead of um, silicone there same as like on the edge of the mirror because I'm going to put like a bit of grass like just some green 
pale pale green resin here where the tree is going to go into I think probably right to the edge so um, I'll just kind of pour that down place my branches my flowers are over there curing and so we'll see how it all comes together I don't know Okay, this is going to be my worst video ever. <laughs> I keep forgetting to video. So it's about five hours later and the um, flowers are kind of a little bit tacky still, but firm enough that I can do it. So what I'm doing is I put another piece of plastic underneath and then I flip it over onto a little cup. Some of them are done in a little cup and the really small ones, what I'm doing, I don't know if you can see, so I'm wrapping a marble around it, <laughs> bending it around a marble to make it roundish. Don't know how this is going to work. And then I had to tape it shut to keep it. So I don't know how this is going to work. So that's what I'm doing. I've got all my flowers and I'm just going to keep pushing them down a bit because I want to get that flower shape, you know. So I'm just kind of, I have to push them down a bit for a little while. See, there's one with a marble. So I'm going to tape this one here, see I've got a marble there. I'm going to tape it so that it'll stay because it keeps kind of springing back up. So I'm going to do that. So I've got the rest of them. I'm going to cut them all out. And so I cut, I cut out, I cut them out. And then I, you know, just put another piece of the plastic on the other side of it, flip them over upside down on a cup or on a marble or whatever shape you're after. So we'll see how that works. Okay, it's the next morning. Flowers are all dry. So I'm just going to take all the plastic off. Comes off nice and easy, uh, she says. <laughs> yeah, that's good. It's coming off. Nice. Um, I noticed that the ones where I use the black plastic, they're a little bit dull, so I'm going to put another just clear resin coat over top of that, I think. But see, those ones are nice and shiny. So let's see if my little marble ones work. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, that's good. Little ones, so I can put them all on the trees. I'm gonna put, I think, I think like a couple of maybe gold, I don't know, little gold beads and some few like burgundy um, little dots. Because that's kind of what, um, kind of what the uh, almond blossoms look like. So I'm just gonna go and unwrap all these. My, like a Christmas morning, wrapping all the unwrapping the gifts. <laughs> oh, there goes the marble. Oh, that's so cute. This one's all curly. That's okay. It's a little curly one. And put a little red dot burgundy dot in the middle anyway so that's the next step so I'm going to unwrap all the flowers and I might put another clear resin coat on the ones that are a little bit dull so I would like them all shiny I think we'll see so that's the next step okay little touch up on the flowers so what I do is I heat up a blade so it just starts to turn red a little bit and then on the, some of the flowers, there's kind of oh, little jagged edges. Kind of a weird little thing there. Doesn't belong. I'll just shave that off. So I'm just going to clean up the flowers. Any little stringy things hanging on. Get rid of them. That one's good. This one just has a little, little patuck there. So I'll get rid of that. So I just go around all the flowers, make sure they're nice and there's no kind of jaggedy edges sticking out that, that don't look nice. Most of them are fine, but I just want to, yeah, they're all actually pretty good. These ones are, see little things like, there's that little thing sticking out. Just cut all those little guys off. Just do any little repairs that need to round them out. I could I could heat them and shape them a bit, 
you know, I could probably bend that out, but I don't want to. I want to leave them all kind of random, just the way kind of nature is. So that's the next little job. And once again, I forgot to video. So this is what I'm doing now. I debated on how to attach the flowers, but I think my best bet seems to be working. Still got it down on that plastic, so I will add a resin component to it. I'm just not sure yet. So I'm just using my hot glue gun over there to attach the flowers. So I'm just kind of finding nice spots for the flowers and hot gluing them on. Those flat flowers that I had made, the ones I didn't um, bend soon enough, I'm putting them in behind and I think that works okay. See in there, I just kind of put a few of them in behind. It just kind of gives it some depth so and it, it'll add some stability to it. And the tree branch, I res I don't remember if I even videoed that, but I, I uh, resined, I just coated the branches with resin. And then here's the little piece patch of green that I poured down below and I put some of these nice sparkly gold rocks that I have in. So, and I think I, I saved a few petals. I'm just gonna kind of scatter them down under the tree somehow and I'll attach them. So that's the way it's looking now. I can't wait to see when I put it on the mirror. I'll probably, when I'm done all this and the glue is dry, hmm, I'll probably turn it over and secure the flowers and make sure they're all good and, you know, glued on. And then, uh, yeah, and I'm not sure what'll come next. I'll let you know if I don't forget the video. And here it is on the mirror. Sorry for all the reflections, but it is a mirror. <laughs> so the only other thing I did is I just put, I got my little Mandela tool and I put a couple of little burgundy and um, jade green dots in the middle of the flowers, in the middle of the blossoms. I don't know how I can get you to see this without all the reflections. <laughs> It's kind of neat the way they reflect. You see the back of the blossoms. I got a few little blossoms that fell down. So there it is. I hope she likes it. I just called the lady to see for her to come in and see if she likes it. I hope.